you doing? I am very fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. How is your wife and child? I have no trouble to say that they are fine. Hmm, that is well. I wanted to ask you a question. Okay, dear. Go ahead. If you are given one million naira today, what will you do with it? One million naira? I don't have such amount of money, and I don't have anybody to give it to me. Just answer the question, please. Okay, if I have one million naira, I will open a barbering salon and open a fashion gallery for my wife. That's great then. I will send you one million naira as soon as I end this call. What? You will do what? You just heard me right. I will send the money to you. Oh my God, thank you so much. You are really a godsend. May God bless you and your family. Don't thank me. Thank my husband. He is the one that gave me the money. I am speechless right now. I don't know what to say. If I was told, I wouldn't have believed that you would be my destiny helper. Thank you once again. Please make sure you use the money wisely. You don't have to say anything. God wants to use me to bless you. And that's what he has done. Stop it, please. Just use the money wisely. Drop your account details now, please. We will talk later. Let me check my food on fire. Okay, I will. Thank you. Sweetheart, thank you very much for helping Paul and his family. Don't mention I did it because of you. He sent us regards and lots of blessings. God bless him too. Baby, I've been thinking about something recently. What is that? Let me ask you. This work you are doing, is it a company work or a government work? It's a company work. Why do you ask? Hmm. Company work and their wahala. You can be sacked anytime. Yeah, so what's your point? Don't you think it's a nice idea to build a house in Nigeria? Actually, I've been thinking about it for a while now. My love, you have to do something about it. You are all in well. It will be better to use part of the money and build a house in Nigeria. This is not our country and we won't stay here forever. You know how most of these companies are. You can be sacked anytime. You have a point there, so what do you suggest I do? I really told you before. Use part of the money and build a house in Nigeria. Just appoint someone to inspect the building project while you send whatever you ask of. You are very wise. Festus is the only person I know that can handle the project very well for me. Festus? Ah, no! I don't think it's a good idea to leave the whole thing to him. So why do you ask? Festus is too desperate for my liking. That is just an illusion. He needs money. That doesn't make him desperate. Okay, oh, do whatever you want. Are you coming tomorrow morning so we can start the building as soon as possible? Yes, that is right. The earlier, the better. Thank you for giving me such a wonderful idea. Oh, come on. It is my duty as your wife. And you are doing your duty well. Absolutely. Babe, where are you going to? I'm going out. Would you like to join me? I don't even know where you are going to and you are telling me to join you. Oh. Maybe you want to know everything. I know you are not a child, but please just let me know in case of necessity. Okay. Since you insist to know, I'm going to Festus' house. Oh, Festus the houseboy? Don't call him that. He's a chef. Since when did you start defending him? Or is there something you are not telling me? Actually, I am going to his house to accept his proposal. You? Accept proposal? <laughs> what a funny joke. Who is joking here? I'm very serious. I'm tired of sleeping around. I want to settle down. Oh, why are you tired now? Continue sleeping around. It pays very well. What is that supposed to mean? Are you trying to mock me? I'm glad that you have finally decided to settle down. At least my own is even better. What about you? You don't even have plans getting married. I'm glad that you have finally decided to settle down. I will find a good man when the time is right. That is always your memory verse. Anyways, just be happy for me. Who knows, you might find a man on my wedding day. I am not desperate for a man. You should be, my darling. Don't you know you are getting old? I beg, start going to where you wanted to go. <laughs> you are touched, Abby. Don't worry, I will get you something on my way back. Take care of yourself and be careful. Yes, ma. Hi, baby. Welcome, dear. I hope everything is okay. How do you mean? Because you have never called me before. Talk more of coming to my place willingly. <laughs> Old things have passed away. I am so happy to see you. So what can I offer you? 
Stop being so formal with me. Very soon I'll be the madam of this house. That was always be my prayer too. For you to take over this house as the madam. Your prayer has come to pass. Because I have decided to accept your marriage proposal. Stop pulling my legs, please. My joke is too expensive. I am not joking. I'm very serious. Unless you've changed your mind. Of course not. What you just said to me now is the best thing that has happened to me in a long while. I just hope you don't change your attitude towards me when we get married. That can never happen. I will keep on making you happy as long as I live. Is that a promise? It is a promise. You have made me so happy. You deserve it. I found you worthy of me. And that is why I accepted your proposal. Thank you very much for giving me this chance. So will you still continue your half-boy job? If you don't want me to, I can quit and look for something else to do. I am more comfortable about the job. Okay then, I will quit. Good. And when you quit, you have to look for something else that pays well. Because I don't want a cheap wedding. I want an exquisite wedding. It's okay. I will walk towards it. Okay then, let me get water to drink. I'm tasty. Naomi, what exactly is going on? Sis, please. I am really sorry for all this. What do you mean you are really sorry for all this? You told me you were on your way coming back yesterday. I called you endlessly, but your line was unreachable. That is the reason why I am saying sorry to you. What happened? Why didn't you come back as you promised? My flight was cancelled due to bad weather, so I will be coming back this evening. Do you even know the implication of what you are doing? You have just four days remaining to your wedding. I know. Continue covering up for me, please. I will be back soon. I am tired of hearing it. I have tried my best to avoid your fiancé for the past few days now. Sweetheart, please, keep on trying for me. You will see me in Nigeria by this time tomorrow. I just hope it is genuine this time around. It is, I promise. Any new developments? Yes, since your wedding is very close, I had no choice but to call your wedding planner to know the latest developments. So I met her yesterday. That is very good. What was her reaction when she saw you? She was shocked. She said I looked different. So I told her it's been a long time she last saw me. That was what made me look different. <laughs> and she believed you? Does she have a choice? Just come back, please. I hope you have arranged what to wear as my chief bridesmaids. Sure. Everything is ready. My clothes and shoes are ready. Okay. Don't worry yourself. I will be back soon. Please do. I will cook something delicious for you. Okay, let me get ready. Okay. Guess what? I'm not good at guessing. Just say it. I resigned from my former work and now I have seen something better. Wow, that's good news. What kind of work is that? Actually, I have a friend that stays in Germany. He has so much money and he doesn't know what to do with it. So he decided to build a house in Nigeria. So he wants me to supervise the building project and then get paid to the end of the month. Wow. In fact, to show you how serious he is, he transferred 5,000 Naira into my account. You are shamelessly proud to say it. I don't understand. How do you mean? So you have a friend that stays in Germany and he can't take you there. Instead, he wants you to work for him. It's not a big deal. His uncle took him there. He didn't go there himself. Just listen to yourself. So now that he has money, he can't take it there. Instead, he wants to enslave you. He's not enslaving me. He's just trying to help me. Is that what you call help? Shame on you, Festus. Your so-called friend is using you to achieve what he wants. And not because he cares about you. I think you have a point there. With the kind of money he has, he could easily take me to Germany to make money for myself too. You see what I'm talking about? That your friend doesn't like you at all. I never really thought about it. This is your chance to also build yourself and also make money for us. How do you mean? Shebi, you said he transferred 500,000 Naira to you to start the building project. Exactly. That's what I said. So what is your friend's name? His name is Emeka. Okay. So why not use that money to invest in something? 
and it will be easy for us to have the elaborate wedding I have wanted. So what about the house he told me to build? Leave the house, Jerry. Whenever I ask you, just tell him everything is going on well. No, I can't do that to him. What do you mean you can't do that to him? This is our only chance of living a comfortable life. Don't misuse it.